if you're following Christianity, if you are following Christianity, you believe that the white man is God. Right. Right? Because you follow after his ways. You follow after his traditions. Right. Right? We don't know what color God is, though. Guess what? You a liar and the truth ain't in you. Right. We know what God look like. We know what Christ look like. He's a black man according to the Bible. Yes, right. Ryo, you the GOAT, boy. RT, you good, bro? Crazy coming back and crack the sky. He come with fire. Babylon, yeah, it got to burn. Yo, yeah, papaya. Damn, where you read that at? It's in the Bible. I tell you what you're afraid of. A black messiah. Shackles on my damn arm, yokes around my neck, on my feet, so I couldn't run. Me, Shaq, Shaq. Survival, right? The truth is the truth. Book of Revelation. Revelation, chapter 12, verse 9. Come on, And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. So the word devil means deceiver. Bring it out. And he deceived who? The whole world. He deceived the whole world into believing that he's God. Look right. over here, Mike. Don't get distracted. That he's God. Right? Come on. And his angels were cast out with him. Yes, sir. Right, so he deceived the whole world. So now, give me Revelation 14 and 9. So why is it important not to believe that the so-called white man is your God? Like how we all thought. And even if you don't think that the white man is God or whatever, if you're following Christianity, if you are following Christianity, you believe that the white man is God. Right? right? Because you follow after his ways. You follow after his traditions. Right? We don't know what color God is though. You Guess what? You a liar and the truth ain't in you. Right. We know what God look like. We know what Christ look like. Yes, He's right. a black man according to the Bible. Yes, right. Read what you get. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. This is why it's important. Come on, that we don't follow after Christianity. Read. If any man worship the beast, if any man worship the beast, this is the it. Michael, look. Don't fall asleep on me. This is the beast. If you worship the beast, come on. And his image. It is what? His image. And his image. Come on. And receive his mark. And receive his mark. Meaning you follow after his ways, his policies. You're taking his drugs, Michael. You're, you're, you're drinking up his liquor and get drunk, Michael. Read. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his head. The same shall drink of the wine of the realm of God. It's the same. He's going to get destruction, Michael. So that's why you don't need to follow after. That's So that's why you don't need to follow after the so-called Christianity, man. After after, the, after these white people, man, because they're going to lie to you. All right, so she said that we don't know that God is black. That we can't prove that. All right? And that, that Christ is black. So first we're going to get, give me the one in Daniel about God. Give me, give me, give me God. So, so hey, we're going to talk about the most high God, Mike, Michael. Michael, pay attention. We're going to show you what the most high God look like and what his son look like, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention what you got. Give me that in Daniel 7. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Who's the Ancient of Days, Mike? The Ancient of Days. 
is the most high God. Absolutely, because he don't have no beginning or ending. Give me that in Job 34. Give me that in Job. Jimmy, hey, you, do you know how to be patient? Do you know how to rule your spirit and be quiet and then you're going to get your answer? All right? So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a teach, teach you through her. All right? I'm going to teach you, Michael, through her. Okay? Come on, 34, 26. Show me in the Bible. Yes, sir. The book of Job, chapter 36. Verse 26. This is how we know that this is the most high God. Hey, it says the ancient of days. Read what you got. Behold, God is great, and we know him not. Neither can the number of his years be searched out. See that? Neither can the number of his years be searched out. Because why? He's the ancient of days, all right? So we're going to tell you what the ancient of days look like, the most high God. Read what you got. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is the Most High God, read. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. So, who got woolly hair? What nation of people have woolly hair? How huh, might? You said our people? Our people, right? So-called black people, right? Read. Whose hair was like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame. And his wheels is burning fire. All right, so that's the description of the Most High God. He got what? Woolly, woolly hair. That's right. You so called black people, you have woolly hair. Just like your God got woolly hair. Understand that God is a black man according to the Bible. Give me revelation. All right? What's going on, man? Hey, hey, come get this good news, man. Come get this word, you feel me? I got to drop a boy out, but I'm trying to listen to what y'all Alright, you got a flyer? Give him a flyer, man. Hey, get this word, bro. God look just like you, man. That's what we're going over, man. And you are God on this earth, too, bro. It's time for us to wake up and come back to God's laws, man. We, we out here, man, because we tired of seeing each other gun each other down. We tired of seeing baby mama and baby daddy. That's right. I don't know, bro. We tired of seeing that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we come out here to teach our people to keep the laws of God, man. To come out here and fight for your nation. Come out and fight for your people, man. Right. All right. Sure. Give me your Revelation one, man. This is what Christ look like, man. We, we, we come out here because we, we, whenever we come out here, yeah. we always get told that this is God. We always get told that that this is God, man. This ain't God. This ain't Jesus. That's right. Right. So we got we come out and teach what? Teach the truth according to the Bible. Right. All right. Give me that. Yeah. Revelation chapter one verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. Verse 14. So we come out here to do what? Okay. To show. To show you the truth of the Bible. Read. 14. Yeah, 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we're talking about Christ. What did Christ look like? It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So when you hear that description, what comes to mind? What's your name, bro? You say Dez, all right, we, we're going with Dez, all right? We got Dez and we got Michael, all right? So whenever uh, that comes to your, what comes to your mind when you hear that? It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Sound like a white person. Why? Now, now that's cool, because we're out here to educate you. You know what I'm saying? I thought the same thing at one point. Why would you say that that sound like a white person? Because what? Got you. Now, now look, look to your immediate right. You see that brother with the white hair? <laughs> so what, now, when I read that, that's what comes to my head. You know what I'm saying? That's what comes to my mind. It says his head and his hairs were white. So you said your daddy, your granddaddy, don't have white hair, but he do got it on his beard. Got you. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yep. Read. Like wool. Like what? Like wool. So what texture is wool? Fuzzy, right? So touch the top of your head. Touch the top of your head. Would you would you say it's like that? You would say it's like that? Alright, so it says his hair was white and what? 
like wool, white and woolly. Okay, so you understand, okay, black people, we got white hair. We got woolly hair. All right, so let's get some more description, okay? So we, we, without a shadow of a doubt, you'll understand what Christ looks like, okay? Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So what comes to your mind when we read that part, okay? Hair like wool is white, white and woolly. Okay, that's me. Okay, cool. Now it says his eyes as a flame of fire. What are you thinking about that? Somebody what? Somebody with eyes. Absolutely, somebody with their eyes. So let's get the prophecy of why his eyes was red, okay? Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes gonna be red with what? With wine. So, what does that mean to you? You like the what? Yes, sir. So, when you drink it, your eyes turn what color? There you go, red with wine. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Hey, go back to uh, Revelation, right? Come on. Hey, his eyes red right now. Look at him. Read Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So why was his eyes as a flame of fire, uh, Dad? Because they scared of Right, they were scared of him and what else? What he drink? What he drinking? Wine. That's what the scriptures say. That's what the script hey, they called him a wine bibber, man. All right, in the Bible they called him a wine. That's somebody who drink wine, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, read on. We get that. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So it said, and his feet was what? And his feet like unto fine brass. So what color is brass, Des? All right, what color is brass, Michael? Don't go to sleep on me. Come on, Mike. Damn. Sounds like your soul. Huh? Sounds like your soul. All praise. What you say, Mike? Like a light gold. Okay. All right. Read. Like a color of a penny. You're right. Brass is like a color of a penny. So it says his feet was like brass. All right. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So take that penny. Right. Take that light gold. Like he said. You burn it in a furnace. What color is going to come out, Des? It's going to be what? It's going to be dark black. Yeah, hey, Michael, what color is this describing, man? That penny or that gold that you were saying? You burn it in the furnace. What's, what's, wait, what's the next step, man? What's the next color? Is what? So, according to the Bible, she's a liar. Where's she at? She gone now. The woman of God, hey, ran her off. Because you got the white woman come up here. Hey, you can't prove that God is black. You can't prove that Jesus is black. You can't do this, can't do that. Hey, we just read it clean out of the Bible, man. So that's why we call the white man the devil. Because they deceived you, Des. They deceived me. They deceived you to believe in what? That Jesus Christ was a white man. But we read it out of the Bible that what? It's so-called black man. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with roles.